Hi, Luca Fontanella, custom engineer here at Google Cloud, working primarily on the data analytics side. This uh, booth is about a wide range of products on the data cloud side. It's all about connecting all sorts of data sources and infusing it with AI. So we're talking about products like BigQuery, Looker, Google Maps Platform, and then on the ingestion side, PubSub and Dataflow. So this is an incredibly exciting demo that we've built for these purposes. It's a new way of visualizing and uh, showcasing data. Uh, so it's a very immersive data application that we've built for this booth, primarily focused on helping a business understand its impact across the supply chain. So as I jump into it, we'll walk through different pages in the app. And it's a gamified process, so it should be fun to follow along and, and uh, analyze different trade-offs. So the first screen of this demo is a cockpit into our um, business operations. At the very top, if I click how does it work, we're going to be analyzing a few different metrics and features, namely looking at CO2, water, um, and energy. And that energy being uh, a wide range or distribution of energy sources, hydro, nuclear, um, electric, etc. Now, the whole purpose of this demo is to understand as we go through a business from where our, let's say, materials are sourced from our suppliers, where they're put together and processed on the assembly line, to actually where they're shipped out to our end consumers, how can we make conscious decisions to help improve our sustainability footprint? So if I click into real time and jump into full screen, the first view is at the factory floor. So we have a few different assembly lines, uh, pressing, wielding, and assembly. We have our energy mix at the bottom. All of our data is being brought through via PubSub, uh, historically, historically managed in BigQuery, uh, but also fed directly into the application. And then as we go throughout the day, we can understand as our business, our energy mix during certain hours from uh, nuclear at 23% at 1 AM, solar and hydro increasing as we go throughout the day. Now, a key thing that I want to highlight is we've been infusing AI throughout this demo in very practical ways to help us as, let's say, an operations manager, um, help improve efficiency of our business. So the first one is on pressing. So if I double click into pressing, we have the same energy spread here. And then on the far right, we have a few different components of AI interleaved. So at the very top, we have a, a video stream of the actual pressing assembly line. And we're using Vision AI to annotate the different machines and items that are going across our line. Now we're doing very simple bounding boxes of different items, but you could think of this being trained on um, the actual machines themselves, helping identify machine defects um, and allowing us to react to those in real time. Now at the bottom, we have a, a little alert. So we are feeding data into BigQuery historically, which allows us to provide some level of anomaly detection directly where the data lives. So our little alert here mentions abnormally high water usage. And in the past three days, it looks like our water usage for this, in, this section and specifically has increased 400%. So there might be a leak, something that we need to look into. And because this application is hooked to the APIs directly, we can take the data that we've been prescribed and kick off an operational process. Now the next page of our application is all focused on the supplier itself. So we're visualizing data very immersively on Google Maps platform. This is just a standard 2D view, but we'll jump into photo photorealistic 3D tiles in a moment as well. Now, when we're thinking about sustainability, often from the supplier standpoint, we're looking at transportation. What our routes are, how can we optimize them? Air versus maritime, maritime versus land. Um, what is gonna be faster for us? What is gonna incur more costs? And what is gonna be overall more uh, economically friendly and environmentally friendly? So this is a unique way to infuse data to help us provide a what-if style analysis. So at the very top, we have our air transport. And air is gonna get us the goods delivered a lot faster. It's, of course, gonna offset a lot more, and it's gonna be um, more price conscious or, or uh, price sensitive, uh, because air transport, generally speaking, is a lot more than, let's say, maritime transport or some of the slower options. Now, that's something that we wanna know as a business. But we want to know also what's the budget impact of switching to something that's more environmentally friendly. So if I click over to the maritime transport, we see our budget decrease. So it looks like overall 2.4 million is going to be spent uh, for prioritizing maritime transport, significantly less than air, air transport. Of course, this is going to mean that we're going to have a larger delay in terms of our goods getting to the end destination. But we have a more positive eco impact score. And this composite score is something that we're doing on the database side in BigQuery and surfacing directly into the application through Looker's API. 
Now the composite score can be um, composed of a lot of different things, a lot of different inputs, budget, time, um, energy offset, CO2, water, etc. All those things being blended together into a single golden metric that allows us to understand our eco impact. Now I'll prioritize that and we'll jump into the Taiwan Strait uh, transportation view. A very similar aspects. Here we are prioritizing air versus land. Again, we can see the overall eco impact of our decisions. And live on the map is our updated view of the land transport option in the Taiwan Strait. Now where things get really exciting is on the 3D mapping side. So this is um, a view into our port of Hong Kong. Um, and we have a few different vessels that are traveling throughout the port that um, supply goods for our business. And you might notice some bounding boxes around these and this collision risk percentage. Now, the government in Hong Kong and the captains on these vessels, the captains on the vessels have mechanisms for understanding collision risk. But let's say our business who wants to take conscious decisions to help get our goods to places faster, but also env environmentally do so. We want to know collision risk for our vessels as well to be able to, let's say, prioritize a new supplier or have some backup options for different goods that we need to deliver to other aspects of our supply chain. And so we've infused Google AI to be able to produce that Google, the, the collision risk directly in the port of Hong Kong here. Now at the top right, we have different aspects of our vessels being infused into this application. So we have the country, the name, the voyage time, the breakdown of emissions per container itself. And we have a small little icon here that's signifying the Halcon transport. If I click into that, we'll drill directly into the route for this Halcon transport vessel. So we're bringing data in from BigPort with Looker, infusing it into an entirely new and immersive um, visual representation, something that goes beyond your standard BI dashboards and reporting. We have our fuel consumption trends. And then we also have some smart recommendations from AI. Uh, looking at alternate path recommendations. Now, we want to save fuel for this vessel overall. Um, and it looks like based off of specific weather conditions that we're bringing in through third-party APIs, on average, we could save 8% more if we redirect to the other proposed route. So I can reroute this vessel in real time. And now we've saved 8% of fuel for the Halcon transport vehicle. Now we've walked through a lot of immersive displays of data, but of course we have capabilities for embedding standard reporting as well. So similar to our suppliers view, we have a few different dashboards that are enabled here. We're looking at Southeast Asia, our Taiwan Strait, and then also a supplier sustainability dashboard. Now this is the Looker BI platform embedded directly into this application. We have an iframe of a dashboard with all sorts of metrics, looking at our margin percentages of different transport options. Now, I might know the context of this dashboard just because I'm familiar with it, but perhaps my colleagues, the operations managers on the floor line, they don't necessarily know what margin percentage is or how to interpret that to make business decisions. And they want to be spoon fed some of these insights, exactly what they need to know and nothing more. And this is where generative AI comes in to help augment the BI experience. So on the left hand side, we have Looker connected to Vertex AI. Uh, we're using the Gemini model under the hood. And what we're doing is we're taking all of these different data points on here, all the data that's fed into these tiles, and summarizing them for a business user. So I can come to here and understand my summary over time and see data points that go beyond what we see in this visualization. I can even be prescribed the next steps to help me make conscious business decisions and take action. Now, this is one of many ways that we're integrating generative AI into uh, the BI experience. Of course, natural language is a common one as well. In this view, we're looking at summary. Now we have a similar dashboard for uh, the Taiwan Strait transport route. And the third is focused on supplier sustainability. Now, as a business, we want to understand the impact of each of our suppliers and perhaps prioritize one versus the other, depending on how conscious we are of that. So we've aggregated all sorts of, um, I would say, industry standard metrics for um, managing and gauging sustainability of given suppliers. And we built those into the Looker semantic layer to help infuse them into different aspects of our application. Now, one of the final pages in the demo itself is the actual factory. So we walk through the pressing and the different assembling lines and optimizing our um, sustainability focus there. Going one step further, we can also optimize um, the 
environmental impacts of the buildings and the actual factory land that we have um, owned by our business. Now, one way to do that is to introduce revegetation, um, to provide solar panels on top of factory buildings and parking lots. But how do we understand the overall cost of doing so? How much energy are we going to create by doing so? Uh, what are the carbon offsets that we will be able to produce? And also, what is some of the interesting weather information that we might need to understand, is this a viable option for us economically? What Google provides is an API called the Solar API. And the Solar API is a very powerful API that can be used to infuse data, location data, to help inform us on um, generating energy through sustainable means, in this case, through solar, as the, the name indicates. So the Solar API is a way to get all the rich location data that Google Maps provides and infuse that into our business making decisions and help us understand as a factory and with the square footage dimensions of our factory, um, if we decide to move forward with introducing different vendors for solar panels um, based off of the, let's say, things returned from the API like the square footage of our building, um, average days of sunshine per year in a specific location, how much energy are we going to generate in terms of kilowatts per year? And what's the expected upfront cost for us that we're going to need the stomach to be able to reap these longer term gains? So this is a very powerful way for us to gamify this process. And as we adjust the slider in the application, we have the data streamed in to help us gamify this. Now, this is one aspect of um, thinking about optimizing our facility grounds. The other is through revegetation. And it's not just the factory itself, but it's the surrounding areas, like the parking lot where all our employees park, the grounds where all our employees uh, walk and eat their lunches and have coffee breaks, etc. How can we help optimize those areas too? So we have another gamified process here where we can switch between solar panels or revegetating the area. I'll go ahead with revegetation. Uh, pretty minimal in terms of budget, but we have a, a really high eco-impact score, which is awesome. Thank you.